Nature is our best friend, but we're nature's worst enemy. It's important to protect everything that's left of it. That's why we will compare what's left of the ancient and beautiful nature of Europe and the United States of America and take a look into their efforts to protect nature. In this series, we will take a look at the differences between the continent of Europe and the country of the United States of America. Europe and the US have about the same size, but the amount of inhabitants is twice as big in Europe in comparison to the US. Both Europe and the US are big landmasses, with mountains, forests, lakes, deserts and swamps. Let's first take a look at the highest peaks of Europe and the US. The highest mountain in the US, is Mount Denali, in Alaska, with 6,190 meters in height. It's about 500 meters higher than the highest peak of Europe, Mount Elbrus, in the Caucasus region in Russia with a height of 5,642 meters. The highest mountain, outside the state of Alaska, is Mount Whitney in California. Measured 4,421 meters tall, it's 600 meters shorter than the highest mountain outside Russia. Mont Blanc or Monte Bianca in Italian, lies on the border between France and Italy. The famous highest peak of the Alps measures 4,809 meters in height above sea level. The U.S. has three major mountain ridges, the Rocky Mountains in the west, and the Appalachian Ridge in the east, where the highest mountain is 2,000 meters tall. The Sierra Nevada in the east of California is home to Mount Whitney. Europe has multiple mountain ridges, the most famous probably being the Alps, in the east, lie the Caucasus, home to the highest peak of Europe. The Pyrenees stretch between France and Spain. The Euro Mountains in the far east form the border between Asia and Europe. Up in the north, in Scandinavia, lie the Jalan Mountains. Other major ridges are the Carpathian Mountains, mainly in Romania, the Apennines, in Italy, and the Dinaric Alps in the Balkan. There are of course many other types of nature, besides mountains. Forests are another good example of pure nature. About 45% of Europe is covered in forests. This is about 9% more, than the 36.2% forest cover of the United States. The northwest states of the mainland US generally have the highest forest cover percentages. Maine takes the cake with 90% forest cover, followed by New Hampshire and West Virginia. At the bottom of the list are central, farm-focused states like North Dakota, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Kansas. These states have less than 5% forest cover. In Europe, the Nordic countries like Sweden, Estonia and Finland have the highest percentage of forest cover, they all have between 60 and 75% forest cover. While Russia is the leader in terms of total forest area, because of its size, at the bottom of the list lie microstates like San Marino and Malta, with less than 2% forest cover. Countries like Moldova, Iceland and the Netherlands don't do well either, with less than 10% forest cover. Both in the United States and Europe reforestation is outweighing deforestation in the last years. In the US there is an annual growth of nearly 0.03%, according to the FAO. In Europe, the reforestation rate is about 8,000 square kilometers per year, which is more than three times the size of Luxembourg. USA has 63 national parks, the biggest of which lies in Alaska, Wrangell St. Elias. Of the seven biggest national parks, six lie in Alaska. But most of these parks are relatively quiet, with not that big amounts of tourists. Other parks like Yosemite, Yellowstone, Zion, and Rocky Mountains lure more than 4 million tourists each year. The absolute most visited national park lies in the East. Great Smoky Mountains National Park sees more than 12.5 million visitors annually.
In Europe there are over 500 national parks, most of them smaller in size than the average U.S. national park. Norway has, with 47, the most national parks in Europe, but France has the largest area of national parks in Europe, probably because the national park rules are laxer than in other European countries. In France, there are often entire villages and big roads inside the parks. The biggest park is Vatnajökull National Park in Iceland. Like in the USA there is a big variety of national parks in Europe, from the Dolomites National Park in Italy, to the Krka National Park in Croatia, to the Lake District in England, to Picos de Europe in the north of Spain, and to the Jostedal Spring Glacier National Park in Norway. Both Europe and the United States of America have a lot to offer in terms of nature. Both different, but kind of the same. Both with a big variety of mountains, forests and national parks. Both beautiful in their own way. Luckily conservation and reforestation efforts are at an all-time high. It's necessary to protect nature that's still left.